breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Appeal court reverses judgment. Sacking a boy state governor, David Umayi. Appeal court reverses judgment. Sacking a boy state governor, David Umayi. So, my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. David Umayi, the governor of Ebony State, and Eric Kelechiligwe, his deputy, were fired as a result of their defection from the People's Democratic Party (PDP) to the All Progressives Congress on March 8. But the Abuja Court of Appeal has overturned that decision, APC, according to Channel's Television. In a decision issued on Friday, a three-member panel of the appeal court chaired by Justice Arunat Sanami found that the 1999 constitution, as amended, did not include any provisions for punishment of a governor or deputy governor who defected from the party on which they were elected. The appeal court further ruled that a political party who has been wronged by the defection of a governor or deputy governor has no choice except to investigate the constitutional provision for impeachment. The court agreed with the Enugu Court Division's prior ruling on the same matter. Dave Umayi, the governor of the Ebony State, and Eric Igwe, his deputy were forced to resign on March 8, 2022, by Justice Ekwur of the Abuja Federal High Court for the reason that the PDP and not its candidate had won the March 2019 election. Their departure from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress was deemed illegal and unconstitutional by Justice Inyangeko, citing Section 221 of the Constitution. David Umayi the governor of Ebony State and Eric Kelechi Igwe, his deputy were fired as a result of their defection from the People's Democratic Party PDP to the All Progressives Congress on March 8. But the Abuja Court of Appeal has overturned that decision, APCL according to Channel's Television. In a decision issued on Friday, a three-member panel of the appeal court chaired by Justice Arunat Sanami found that the 1999 constitution, as amended, did not include any provisions for punishment of a governor or deputy governor who defected from the party on which they were elected. The appeal court further ruled that a political party who has been wronged by the defection of a governor or deputy governor has no choice except to investigate the constitutional provision for impeachment. The court agreed with the Enugu court division's prior ruling on the same matter. Devumai, the governor of the Ebony State, and Eric Igwe, his deputy were forced to resign on March 8, 2022, by Justice Zekur of the Abuja Federal High Court 
for the reason that the PDP land, not its candidate, had won the March 2019 election. Their departure from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress was deemed illegal and unconstitutional by Justice Inyangeku, citing Section 221 of the Constitution. David Dumai, the governor of Ebony State, and Eric Kelechi-Ligwe, his deputy were fired as a result of their defection from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the All Progressives Congress on March 8, but the Abuja Court of Appeal has overturned that decision, according to Channel's television. In a decision issued on Friday, a three-member panel of the Appeal Court, chaired by Justice Arunath Sanami, found that the 1999 Constitution, as amended, did not include any provisions for punishment of a governor or deputy governor who defected from the party on which they were elected. The appeal court further ruled that a political party who has been wronged by the defection of a governor or deputy governor has no choice except to investigate the constitutional provision for impeachment. The court agreed with the Enugu court division's prior ruling on the same matter. David Umayi, the governor of the Ebony State, and Eric Igwe, his deputy were forced to resign on March 8, 2022, by Justice Equal of the Abuja Federal High Court, for the reason that the PDP and not its candidate had won the March 2019 election. Now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.